I'm Chris. Oh, in Walton. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. You're exactly right. At Walton. Walton, Kentucky at the train bridge. And we got a um, bridge over there, Norfolk Southern. And then over there, there's a row yard. You can't see it from here, but... We got a guy uh, blowing all the wet cut grass off the sidewalk down there. Yeah, it's kind of loud. <laughs> it is kind of loud. Not as loud as a train. Uh... Yeah, we're here at the, the Ludlow Rail Fan Tower. It's a really, really neat, uh, really neat place to watch trains. Uh, we started off this morning at Tony Junction, yeah. But CSX. It's CSX line, but it's really kind of uh, gotten dreary and rainy and wet, so uh, we switched over here to, to Ludlow. Uh, the Rail Fan Tower has a roof overhead, so we're staying dry uh, watching for trains. Yeah, uh, the deal was when we get 100 subscribers, we might start making, uh, we're going to look into making some merch, YouTube merch. Uh, I have a matching Train Buddies shirt. Train Buddies. It was a birthday present from this guy here to me uh, back in February. Well, these are uh, handmade, so the merch might look a little bit better, but I still think these are pretty good. Oh, they're awesome. I love my Train Buddy shirt. Train Buddies! All right. So we're, here we are. We're hanging out. We're going to be watching the trains. Hopefully we got some, uh, some good video for you. Norfolk Southern Leader. 4158. He waved. He waved to us. No, no horn salute. Um, I see a DPU on the end. Do you? Great. Pretty short train already, huh? You can yeah. see the end? Uh -huh. Come up. Tell me what color it is. Oh, uh, is it? Yeah. Sure enough. Oh, I think that's a heritage unit. DC and AC, I'm not sure, but maybe. All right, everybody, we got a little time in between trains. Hopefully, we see another train. Uh, but as we alluded to at the intro, we're here in Ludlow. The Ludlow Rail Fan Tower is what it's called. It's a pretty neat structure. It's two stories tall. Uh, brings you right up alongside the Cincinnati Southern Tracks. Uh, Cincinnati Southern Tracks are used by... Norfolk Southern at the moment, but they're actually owned by uh, the city of Cincinnati. Uh, they go all the way down to Chattanooga. Uh, from the platform, right over here, we have the Cincinnati Southern Bridge that uh, crosses the Ohio River into Cincinnati. Just to the left of the bridge, I'm going to try to zoom in, you can see the back of Union Terminal. Union, right behind Union Terminal is uh, the Guest Street and Queensgate Yards. Guest Street is used by, uh, Guest is Norfolk Southern and CSX is, or Queensgate is CSX. Uh, also, once upon a time, that was a 
major um, destination for passenger trains. But once you come back across the bridge here into Ludlow, you got the tracks, just pretty steady incline, a nice grade all the way up into Crescent Springs and the Erlanger Train Park where we filmed last. Uh, also at the platform, the rail fan tower here. Uh, we've got some nice historical markers to talk about the development of the train line in Ludlow, the history. Got some nice pictures. Thank you, Mike. Uh, it is uh, it is handicap accessible. It's pretty nice. There's an elevator that goes up to the plat viewing platform as well as the stairs. And a couple of other uh, informative plaques. So that right there. That this train was, station. Yep. That used to be right over there where that signal is. You can imagine that. Right there. Also, down below in the parking lot, uh, to our left is the Ludlow Heritage Museum. Which, right here, uh, I'm not sure if that's the thing up there or there. I don't think that's the same building, but it, mm, uh, anywho, we got the, the Ludlow Heritage Museum down there. We've never actually been in it. Uh, it's closed for a couple months at the beginning of the year, and we tried to check it out just now uh, in between trains. It's only open on Saturdays from, I think, 11 to 3. 11 to 3. And Saturday Saturday morning, late morning, early afternoon. So one of these days we're going to get in there. We're hoping that there's some uh, some cool train stuff in there also. Down here, got a old Southern Railway caboose. Very similar, I believe, to the one uh, up at the Erlinger Train Park, which is also on this line, like I said. Um, Maybe we'll try to go check that out in a little bit. The rain, seems like the rain's slowing down. Not X five five four. I don't know. Maybe there are two numbers. But who knows which one it could be? Looks pretty similar in style to the one up at the Erlanger Train Park. It says made in 1966 on the wheel. 1966. And I know that's not the number because it says made in. It. Right. Derailer. Instead, they it's have got a these piece of railroad track that is cut into cut and piece. welded onto the track. Yep. So it can hold them in place. You don't be checking this out and have it roll away on you. <laughs> That'd be a bad day. was right behind us. Right up here, where that big concrete wall is. I 
don't think that's any foundation of it, but. Yeah, that concrete right there, guys. I'm not sure if that's the foundation. Probably not. Probably just to hold in some rocks if they fall down and stuff. Retaining wall? Yep. It'd be cool if the stairs were still here. Yeah. That'd be super cool. I wonder if this opens. Oh, I wonder what's I wonder what's in there. Uh this one looks like some stuff I don't want to touch. Electrical wires and whatnot. And then we got some air brakes right here. I can No, I don't think those are steam brakes actually. They could be though. This is a uh, run steam engine times. Probably. Oh, not if it was made in, what did you say, 60 something? 1966. And eh, never mind. The first diesel engines were already around. Yep. So, we're right here. There's the Union Pacific coming through. And this one is supposed to be really long, so we hope you like this train. We're going to start filming it. You can see it coming on the bridge. Union Pacific. We don't have a railroad scanner. We're hoping to get one. Maybe we'll buy one with our, if we ever sell any merch, we'll uh, use our earnings to buy a scanner. But we were uh, making do. The Cincinnati Railroad Club has a live cam over the, over the yards right behind Union Terminal. You could see this train, two Union Pacific engines, a really long one. So even though we don't have a scanner, we're coming up with uh, workarounds uh, in order to kind of guess what's coming. We weren't sure if this was going to take the Norfolk Southern Line or if it was going to end up going uh, CSX way. But uh, yeah. Michael spotted it on the bridge and here it comes. How sweet was that? Slow going. As we could see from the live stream video, this is a long train. And not only is this a long train, but that's a this is a, a long grade all the way up. Yeah, for sure. Working really hard. Oh, I hear them broken up somewhere. But they're speeding up. They're maybe just trying harder to keep on the hill. I think this one has to have some good DPUs on the It's got, yeah, I agree with you. I was actually just thinking the same thing, Michael. If this thing doesn't have any DPUs on the end, What if there's a, another one coming on the opposite track? That'd be pretty cool. I don't think so. I think it sounds a lot like the horn that we heard. This thing doesn't have 
have any DPS on the end, my head is gonna explode. <laughs> Yeah, unless all these cars are empty, but I, I don't I don't imagine that's really the case. It's possible, I suppose. Whoa, look at that guy. Good plan. But I don't think it's ending anytime soon, guys. Nope, I can't see any engines from here. But it looks like some mini cars are coming through right now more than all the others we've seen. That's pretty cool. Two, two Union Pacific leaders. They gave us the horns with. Legit. Nice shiny paint on that one. Random box car in the middle of all the uh, <laughs> all the tanker cars. That is very odd. I think I can see the end on the bridge. Really? More more Union Pacific power?
Got a few box cars. Yeah. Pretty awesome. Yep. I think it's about time for us to go. Thank you guys for watching. You should check out the Little Little Real Fan Tower. Make sure to leave a like. Thank you for watching our train buddies video. We really appreciate the people who subscribe to us and watch our videos too. For sure, we appreciate all of you. More subscribers, like we said at the starting, we get 100 subscribers. 100 subscribers, we might start making merch. Yep, we got some merch ideas: buttons, stickers, yep. shirts. All kinds. Who of stuff. knows? Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. And from the Ludlow Rail Fan Tower, Train Buddies out. It's a good spot. Yeah. We dig uh, it. Cincinnati says it's their busiest spot. I'm not so sure about that, but there are a lot of trains. The here. busiest train. They say they're the. Bliz, bliz. Restart. Watching. Ray. <laughs> no. Train buddies out. out. <laughs>